Hi Aries, welcome to your unexpected reading for the January 26th through February 9th. Hello. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. Bottom of the deck energy, seven of cups, confusion, feeling overwhelmed, not knowing which to choose, knowing which um, chosen thing will kind of take precedent and everything else will go on the back burner. So which is it? Literally being at the crossroads, but there's like five of them. A lot, a lot going on right now. So there might be, you might be all in your head about something. Um, might be starting to get some ideas or there might be a, a budding love interest. And you're just kind of going along and you're happy. Everything's fine. Uh, perhaps things are exactly the way you like them. Um, maybe you're just having a sexual relationship with someone. But there's a definite interest there. And maybe you want to do the right thing and make it more uh, committed. Or you're just happy with the way things are. It's reciprocal the way you want it to be. But... Maybe it's weighing heavily on your mind and you want to do the right thing. We're back to the six of coins again. You want balance and structure because it's starting to really bother you. Something is, is coming to the fore here. Um, these, This is experience-based here in this situation. So this could be a lot of what has transpired has now kind of culminated into one big thing and, and it needs to be sorted out. Like a lot's happened and now we've got some decisions to make. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of come to the, the point where you either have to choose, do the right thing. Um, both of these cards speak to doing the right thing, giving to what is just. We got the Seven of Swords here. Oh, boy. Uh, Page of Coins. Two of Wands. Eight of Coins. And the World. Okay, you need to end it with this person. You got the world here. You need to end it. It's it's run its course. It went from being probably stable, steady, or there was a disconnect where all of a sudden I was happy with the way things were, but I don't want to progress any further. I like, you know, things being on my terms. And maybe the other person was like, okay, well, I really want more reciprocity from you. And you're like, I'm just not ready for that. And there's a call now for justice or like doing the right things, making a decision, that sort of thing. And this could be deception. What's coming next for you in the couple weeks ahead is, is deception here. Someone's not being honest. There's deceit. This could be self-sabotage or self-deceit, denial. Be careful of that. Um, what's this Seven of Swords about here? What's this Seven of Swords? Someone... Um, that, you know, they could be talking to somebody online. There could be some beginnings of flirtations and just kind of starting to look elsewhere online for someone. Excuse me, I had to get some water. Could be talking to other friends about someone, indirect communication about someone else. This could be the silent treatment. It could be mind games. It could be, um, you know, just, just kind of emotional, petty mind games that are now starting because the relationship feels imbalanced to someone. And this is somebody um, that may have gone from feeling, you know, like everything was pretty okay to now they're kind of getting petty. They're kind of being childish or immature. Um, maybe they're, you know, this could be a Virgo Capricorn or Taurus. Could be an Earth sign. Could be somebody that is is willing to even give less than they were before. And that is, is if they don't get what they want, they get really petty and childish and kind of churlish about things. Um... I think they want you to make a choice here. They want you to make a decision. They want you to decide. And this is not the way to go about getting you to decide. I don't know if that's a newsflash for them or not, but being petty and childish and kind of manipulative or controlling or, you know, both of these speak to um, kind of, this one is like watching and waiting and, and probably strategic with communication, if not downright petty. And this one can start to get really controlling with time, money, resources, that sort of thing. Um, again, with the game playing. So just, just saying, this is, it's you know, it's almost like it just got real here because all of a sudden, 
everything was fine and then it got weird because somebody wanted a commitment here okay and the, the thing is that it shows you see hello here it shows you um being willing to work on it that's what that's what the weird thing is is i i think i don't like this right here because i feel like this is manipulative and controlling and strategic um but it shows a decision being made and but you know what though i don't think so because then we got the world here uh -uh. see i don't like this i don't like this manipulation here because they want a decision from you and you're like well i'll think about it and maybe you tried to work it out with them but um this is saying end it end it because you tried it but it didn't work so I, I don't like the whole idea that, oh, well, they were being a jerk because they wanted me to make a decision. There's other ways to get you to make a decision. You don't have to play mind games or be petty or childish. That's just childish. <laughs> um, what's this two of wands about? Because all of a sudden we go from trying to work it out to ending it. I don't know. What's this? Two of wands. What is that? New beginning. All right. Stable, solid, new beginning. Okay. What's this? Eight of coins. Prosperous, stable, solid. Doing the right thing. Working on doing the right thing. Thinking about doing the right thing. But then we got the world here. Is this, is this that it gives you the world? Is this that it's all of a sudden it brings you great joy? I don't know. I, I don't like this. I don't like this right here. This bothers me. This is this feels like someone's being petty and manipulative. I, I know I keep saying that. What's this world here? Well, damn it. This is doing the right thing. We got that six of pentacles here. So this is saying, Aries, that, you know, you actually end up giving it a chance and deciding to work together with this person for a stable new beginning, work out your differences, work out how to be in a committed, stable relationship, taking it to the next level, and that that you end up having like everything's hunky dory, like this is things are the way they should be. We're back to the Knight of Cups or the Knight of Pentacles here. Everything's stable. Or or is it? Because we have um you know, we got this pettiness here and then we got someone starting to pull back and be strategic. Everything was going along fine. And now all of a sudden we're offering less and less physically, emotionally, um, intimately, all that. They want you to make a decision so that we can try this stable new beginning. All right, fine. I'll try it. I'll do the right thing. I'll work with you. But you know what? I think at the end of the day, the right thing to do is to actually break up. It just, uh, it's not going to suit you, Aries. I, and I think it's because you don't like their approach here. It's, everything was fine the way it was. Why did we need to take it to the next level um you didn't want that and they did and that had been fine if you just ended it there but then i feel like they kind of got weird and so you tried it you were like okay you know i'll uh, fine i'll do the right thing i'll work on this i'll i'll try it we'll see what comes out of it but then at the end of the day the right thing to do is to end it just saying just, i mean the other scenario might fit but i just i feel like with this right here nope this could have been like, oh, the right thing to do, it did work out. Look, it, it ended up working out. We were, you know, we, we were each other's great person and we just didn't know it. Everything worked out. But because of this right here, uh-uh. Aries. What does Aries need to know? Aries. So it's funny because even though you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Holy cow, holy cow. They really want all of your attention. You capitulate and you're like, all right, I'll try it. I will try this, um, you know, being exclusive, taking it to the next level, making plans, seeing what we can do and where we can go together. And then all of a sudden, now nah, it seems like the right thing to do is to end it. It doesn't seem like this is for me. It's like an about face. <laughs> there it is. Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Yes. Okay, so that this person needs to know that. That if they, you know, and this hasn't happened yet. It's supposed to be good. So if they want it to work out, they need to know not to push you or force you. 
that's like a call to action to turn around and do an about face that you know don't don't play these manipulative mind games with me it's not going to work because even though i might be working with you i'm going to become disenchanted at the manipulation what else does aries need to know Okay, this is, um, boy, bye, <laughs> girl, bye. <laughs> That's what this is. This is loving moments and, you know, fond memories embraced, and then we walk away. And then that's it. That's like, okay, you know what? This was really fun. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Thank you, next. That's what this is. So, yeah, this is, they pushed you, and now it's like, all right, my interest is now gone. You can't push this type of energy, this, this knight, of, uh, knight of Pentacles. You can't do it. You can't manipulate that. They will dig their claws in. They will get stubborn. And it seems like this, um, doing the right thing, I want more, I want more, was an issue in the relationship. Someone wanted more, 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 and it was starting to really stress you out. Um, and that's just not the way to do it. It's, it's one thing to ask and be like, I'm interested, but to demand or try to manipulate Nope. Nope. Thank you. Next. All right. Um, so Aries, that is what I have for you for your unexpected. It's funny because you go from like, okay, fine. You, you actually end up trying, even though it's not, it doesn't seem like it's what you wanted. And then there's like this about face. Uh, I think the right thing to do is end it. That's what this is saying. So we go from working things out, doing what is right. And then nope. All right. Okay. Um, I hope this was helpful, Aries, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.